All right, in today's video, we are going to actually look at a CPU mining rig running on NiceHash using XM rig and trying to see if that uh, MSR mod error really does affect your hash rate and your profit profitability or uh, or do you really need to get it so you don't get that MSR mod to get a better hash rate and more profitability. So let's go ahead and just go through it. It's been bugging me because sometimes I thought, let's just run this miner without addressing the MS MSR mod error. And in some previous videos, I went through how you kind of have to set the uh, XM rig plugin up for CPU miner or whatever plugin you're using to mine with on GPU or whatever for the nice hash miner. You have to run that at admin as admin, as well as the nice hash miner as well. You got to run that as admin, even though you have those set, the compatibility mode set, you know, run as admin, you will still sometimes receive that MSR mod error. Uh, and uh, how I got around that is I pause it and then start right back up right away, start mining again and it goes away. So I don't know if it's a Windows nice hash miner glitch, uh, race condition. Or uh, it doesn't seem to be a permissions issue because all the permissions are set. So let's get into it. Oh, I forgot my cursor of truth. This will make life so much easier so you guys can follow the bouncing ball. Hold on a sec. All right, let's get to it. So here I am on a Windows 10 machine. It's a rig MSI motherboard with right here a Ryzen AMD Ryzen 9 3900. 12 core processor again not the newest latest greatest stuff but again these are two years old when i purchased these things and i have not bought any new hardware since the gpu mining craze and i pretty much dumped 80 80 85 percent of my gpus on crappy ebay so here are here we are now running these 3900x's and they're holding up quite quite well for me i mean it's a hobby i'm not here to get generational wealth created uh, not going to happen, but uh, it's for fun. I'm a techie by trade engineer, so it's kind of fun to play with this stuff over the years and uh, just understand the domain and you can speak to it and uh, maybe learn from others is my main point in doing these videos is I want input from other people because I admit I'm an idiot. I went to public school. Uh, I only know what I know and I don't know what I don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know. And I like seeing other comments and what other people are doing because I actually learn from you guys. Like someone mentioned, they're doing um, AMD mini computers. And I went, I've never heard of this thing to mine in like 230 bucks a pop. So I don't know. I haven't looked into that yet. I just, uh, I'll get to that maybe one day, but that is actually of interest to me. So let's just go on with our little test case here. Like I said, we got 3900X on a Windows 10 rig and I'm remoted in. So let's rock and roll. Let's go over to nice hash miner. Click, we'll start it up, it'll benchmark. Yeah, see I'm running it as admin. It'll come up. Uh, this is my Ryzen Master app right here. And why I do that is I lowered the voltage to 1.1. Why did I do that? It was running hot. These 3900s were running 80 Celsius. This is, or high 70s, 80. I, this is unacceptable. I don't want to burn the house down. So someone did recommend lower the voltage. I did, I went into Ryzen Master. And then you can do an apply and test and make sure those settings will actually work for your CPU. If they don't, it'll tell you and reboot and say, no, 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 sorry, those overclock settings are bad. So I do like that about Ryzen Master. It seems to be a lot uh, more complete tool than uh, uh, Afterburner for doing GPU tuning, overclocking, because that you can do whatever you want and really like mess up your GPUs. <laughs> so the Ryzen Master for the win. So here we are with nice hash miner. All right, we got one CPU. We can go to devices to verify. Zero, everything zetted out. Uh, we got everything stopped. Core processor. Oh, let's go back. Let's just crank it up. I should receive the MSR mod error right from the start. So again, this is the first time starting up. I just go in and click start mining. Boom, right here, you get the MSR mod error. It says failed to start win ring zero driver error 183 uh, failed to apply MSR mod hash rate right here. Hash rate will be low. So I'm going to let this run 
And they say to get around that is um, I did receive this back a few when I started doing CB mining a couple of years ago when doing Zerg pool, ocean, uh, two, uh, ocean, Monero Ocean, all those different uh, mining pools and doing a XM rig by hand and batch scripts. I did receive it. And the solution was you run it as admin. Boom. You know, and that, that solved the problem. Now I get it through here. Even though I have admin set on everything, I still get it now and then. So I'm going to let this run and we're going to see what the uh, profitability comes out to be. And we'll see if it actually affects it. I'm going to, we're just going to sit and watch this. I'm sorry. <laughs> go forth, you know, get some, go out and get, get some popcorn, grab the kids, wake the dog and uh, light the fire. We'll sit around and watch this for a few minutes. Uh, right initially off the bat, we have the 0 0.01710 estimated current profitability of my system at MBTC per day. It just wound up, so I'm going to give it a few minutes on running with this error. And it uh, equates to 0 0.71 cent USD. And I'm going to write that down. Now let's give it a minute. I'm going to make sure it kind of finds its little dwell, its little nominal condition it's a little normal base to run and uh, we'll revisit this so let's pop around for a minute devices again we're mining nice temperature of 54 celsius load 100 percent fan speed okay there is yeah fans fans cooking uh which is nice it's not 99 percent i'm on my gpus back when i was using afterburner on my gpus especially the big boys the 3080 ti's that my god the wattage on those things they sucked incredible I had to crank the fans at 100%. Oh my gosh, just looking back at what I used to do, it was incredible. Just the amount of heat, the amount of electricity, some burnt cables too. I got some cheapy ones by mistake from Amazon. It's like, uh oh, oh, gonna fry this house down. So uh, yeah, amazing how it, just doing CPU stuff is so much easier. Uh, a better solution if you don't want a CPU mine is you can put stuff out on some smart nodes and that way you buy the crypto and you stick it on smart nodes and you're kind of getting uh, rewards or dividends. I don't think you call it dividends. You're getting rewards. So for me, I mined a lot of Raptorium on my CPUs and I pushed it over to inode Z and I let it go for a couple of years. And, you know, I mean, it was only like a hundred bucks, right? But you make some rewards. That's the model. Uh, the only problem with the smart node stuff, if you don't own the node, is it's not your keys, not your coins. So you have all your, say, Raptorium or whatever coin on the uh, smart nodes, you don't own it. They could just go belly up or just close the doors and guess what, they got your Raptorium. What are you gonna do about it, big boy? Nothing, <laughs> you can't do a damn thing about it. That's why crypto scams are so easy sometimes is uh, they can do man in the middle, address spoofing, uh, give you a ledger wallet and embed a fake, or not a fake, uh, uh, let's see, uh, spoof, address so when you deposit your crypto to a hard wallet not just ledger a, a hard wallet it'll get forwarded to that address and it's gone it's over johnny so that's why uh, i think the etfs will do well because a lot of the normies out there have no idea you can buy crypto and put it in a wallet what the hell does that mean and then keep putting it in a hard wallet soft wallet they don't understand keys coins and all that stuff they just want to buy because it's a uh, it's a store of value it's a commodity now and it's being more and more recognized across the, the general public, right? So yeah, that's why I think ETFs will do well. Let the uh, big guys do the security and stuff like uh, Vanguard and let them handle all that uh, anti-cyber attack crap. So what are we doing now? We're still watching this. We're just, we're just killing time right now. All right, it's holding. Let's see, 0 0.71, 0 0.71. At 0 0.1728, at 0 0.1728. All right, I'm going to write that down. That's about normal. I ran a 0 0.172. Yep, that's about normal for what I did about maybe 15 minutes ago to just to verify this is a valid video. So, all right, there we go. Let's see, we got 53. Everything's looking good. 1724, it's kind of hovering about the 0.17. 0.017, I mean. Uh, 0.017, is that what it's showing? Yeah, 0.017. Forgot my zero, so we got 0 0.70. Let me just crush. All right. 
point one seven point oh one seven two one two five. All right, I'm just trying to get a see if it just kind of normalizes for a bit. Seven two four. So zero point oh seven. All right, let's go with that. Two four. Yeah, it's hovering between there, between seven point oh seven two and seven two five. All right, let's stop it. So all I do, if I start again, I may get the MSR mod error right away. So what I'll do is I'll pause it and restart it. So let's see if I get the MSR mod error one more time. It's a big pain in the butt, but you know, for what it is, it's still 100% easier than chasing altcoins around on Zerg Pool and other smaller mining operations trying to chase, chase that uh, elusive profit. The only time I really hit it good on um, CPU mining on like Zerg pool and that was when I was solo mining. I had one rig solo mining on all the algorithms on um, the Raptorium. I forget what the Ghost Rider algorithm. Yeah. And then I hit it and I got like 50 bucks. Boom. It equated to 50 bucks. I went, oh my God, I made more with one little rig. It just lucked out and hit a, hit a block. And I got, bam, I'm like, what the heck? Thank God I got paid out in Bitcoin. I moved that to my wallet, bam, I was happy. That was, that was a win, but that was one and far and few between. So yeah, you're running solo mode in the hopes you'll hit a block. And sometimes you'll hit nothing and you'll burn all that electricity and waste all that time. And without, you know, it's just gambling, right? But that was a win. All right, I'll admit it. I got one win doing that. But now I like nice hashes. Just let it run it come in and you have to kick it now and then like this to get over that stupid little error. No big deal. All right, let's fire it up. Yeah, so I got it again. So if you do get this again, even though admin's all set and everything's all the way they say it should be, I just go back in, just pause it right away, let it drop down, get the green button back, fire back up. Boom, error's gone. It's running without the MSR mod error. So this should be eventually a higher USD value per day and a higher, um, right here, a higher profitability per day. I'm just gonna have to let it rip for a few minutes. Uh, 0 0.07, 0 0.0, 0 0.07, 0 0.0, it's still spinning up. 0 0.73, 0.017. All right, it's still spinning up. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Hopefully this comes in. It just spun up, so it's going to take time. 0 0.017.0. 7, 3, so it's, about, it's not much better. 0 0.017. Oh one seven two. So oh one seven two four was our best. So it's a little higher, but not much. All right, there it goes. It's getting a little higher. Come on, big daddy. All right, let's let that go for a minute. Let's go look at what Bitcoin is up to. I'm gonna go over here. Now ah, let's go to this one. Let's go to Trading View. I like this new nice hash thing. They have a. Uh, Nice hash exchange and they have trade view. It's like the old Coinbase Pro GDAX. Uh, same thing, order, but oh crap, it's dropping. <laughs> Fucking Bitcoin, man. Ever since those, I think those ETFs were bad for Bitcoin so far. It may just be take a month or so for it to uh, level out. And you know, after all the money moved into the ETFs, it dropped. I mean, it was at 47, 48, right? So it's interesting that it's dropping. And now there's some volume there. Look at that. So stuff is going on tonight at, oh, it's about almost 23.30 uh, hours east, east Coast. So 11.31 p.m. East Coast. Well, and there we go. January 21st. That shit just keeps But it was already down. It, it kind of spiked down. Look at that volume. Sell, sell, sell. So they were about 40. Oh, my God. <clears throat> the candle didn't quite reach 43. But right here about 42 six for some reason boom lots of volumes on selling which makes no sense at all if anybody can explain that to me there's nothing going on and it's about 
Oh, it's about 11 o'clock. And that's, oh, that's back at 18 January. So, okay, that makes sense back then. But right about here, yeah, you just don't know what's going on. And it just drops. That might have been some news going out. Let me zoom in here. Let's see. Let's get into today's. It'd be helpful if I, I thought it was on the day view. There we go, 21st, 22nd. But look, it's just kind of past couple of days, just hovering about 41.7, boom, boom, boom. And then you kind of get nothing, and it just goes down. This is what I can never understand about it. Usually with equities and that, it's selling, you know, the news, the rumor, all that crap. Uh, bad earnings report. Uh, Musk comes out and tweets something stupid. Uh, stuff like that. And it affects stock, you know, that type of thing. All right, enough about that. So we're holding at 41,000. Yeah, whatever. You know, I'm in for the long run. I've been in this stuff since 2016. So it doesn't really phase me. Uh, only put in as much as you're willing to lose. And I'm mining most of the crap anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. It's all for fun. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to my rig. Point oh one seven seven eight versus point oh one seven two four. It only went from point seven one to point seven three profitability. That is really not much of a difference to me. Point oh one seven eight four. So zero point oh one seven two four. And then I'm at point zero zero point zero one seven eight two seventy one versus seventy three so point seventy one point seven three boy I don't know I'm gonna give it a minute yet we're just gonna hang out together like I said wake the kids phone the neighbors bring the dog in. And let's give it one more minute. You can fast forward to the end if you want, but don't. I need the I need the uh, algorithm watch time. So yeah, <laughs> the old YouTube algorithm. Nobody even knows what that is. I think it's just if people watch the video. I don't know. This channel is not monetized. Let me know if you're seeing commercials on these videos. I wonder if YouTube's making money off these crappy videos I make. I don't make any money. I'm not monetized. I don't think I ever will be. It's just for fun. And like I said, I make these videos to learn from others. And uh, yeah, that's why I post them because I want to learn what other people are doing. There may be some guy out there who doesn't really um, post anything at all, but he sees a video and I make a comment like that. He goes, you know what? This guy should be doing this. And he posts that. And I read it. I went, damn, I didn't know that. And then now the uh, profit goes up to 140 a day. It doubles because I forgot to freaking uh, go over here to the Ryzen Master and click, a, uh, click a, a toggle button or something stupid. And that is usually the way sometimes. You just don't see what you're missing. So we got 0.0174. It's not, it's not really much better than uh, the old MSR mod versus the non-MSR mod. Let me know what you guys notice. Or is it more over time? Because that is, I mean, it's, like I said, right now I'm seeing a delta of with the MSR mod 0.71, without the MSR, MSR 0.74, so three cent difference, which three cents is three cents, right? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now it's jumping up. We got 7.17. There's jumping. We're going up higher. 017. There it's gone. Maybe it took some time. I know when you mine longer, you kind of it kind of equalizes and normalizes whatever, and you kind of get a nice, sweet, comfortable hash rate going for yourself based on the mining pool. It kind of sees, oh, this rig's been running a while. Let's uh, we can trust it. And I, I kind of did notice that mining all these years that once you're on a while and you're on a mining pool, you kind of get like this little attaboy. Let's give this guy a better hash rate. Uh, sometimes you do notice it. So I'm gonna say, yeah, it does affect it. Yeah, there we go. It's going up. Uh, yeah, you got to give it time. So definitely the MSR mod error does affect your hash rate. Who would have thought the error actually made sense and was true? Sometimes you just ignore it and hope for the best. But there we go, guys. Little test. Uh, this is what I do. This is how I kill time. Pretty exciting. I'm glad I could do this for you. Uh, yeah, we're going up now. 0.1820. Good job. All right. I'm, I'm sold. All right. Always uh, kind of dress that MSR mod error. And uh, go forth, do great things. Keep using nice hash, man. Just the easy way. Hive OS, I'm sure, is just as good. But I haven't done uh, dealt with that since uh, 
2021, 2022. I uh, just found nice hashes just for me right now after gone through the gauntlet of crypto mining. Now it just dropped off. So we went down, there we go, it corrected. You'll see little hiccups like that. So we're now at a 0.77. Yeah, things are looking good. So yeah, address the MSR mod, go forth. Make sure you address that, fix it, restart it like I showed you, pause, restart if you have it. Uh, I don't know if you get it on the Hivo, um, the nice hash OS version. If you get that error, I've ran that once. I just prefer doing it through Windows. It just makes it more manageable for me. All right, let me go. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know what you think. Uh, are you guys, what are you mining with? Let me know. Are you using GPUs yet? Are you using ASICs? Are you using those mini, mini AMD computers for 230 bucks? I want to hear more about that. So please post down below. Or are you just buying ETFs, man? Are you buying uh, Bitcoin down at 41,000, man? You might just get in at a low ETF spot price and uh, eventually it may just shoot up. You just don't know. You don't know. Like a, your Bitcoin Ben says, could go up, could go down. Could go sideways or could do nothing at all. You just don't know, but it's a good hobby. It's fun. Keeps me off the streets. Keeps me honest. All right. That's all I got. Take, uh, take care. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.